If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football theme break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autograph's live breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, every live break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified, authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. Good afternoon. Happy Friday. Welcome to the UA Live Break Studio. Garrett, Dave, hope everyone is doing well. What's going on, everyone? Uh, let's see. Uh, the How are you doing, Garrett? I'm doing well. The next edition of uh, Jersey Friday is a Tracy McGrady magic jersey i don't have any nba playoff jerseys but uh i don't have any i, don't I like that any, one i don't have any i don't have any players that play in the playoffs right now blair that is exactly correct i hope you are ready to break some certified, certified authentic, authentic sports, sports memorabilia, memorabilia. That's today correct. that's that's going on today that's going on in just a few moments welcome to the room blair happy to have you man first sure. time customer in blair blair hello Love welcome it. to the break thank you for helping us fill up kitchen sink number one yeah uh, for a little rundown of what we got, we got kitchen sink mixer. Uh, a lot of headliners available in there. We're still looking for the Tatis Jr. 16 by 20, which is dope. Peyton Manning, Ooh. 16 by 20. We got Kevin Eastman, who I do believe is a co-creator of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's that signature is super cool. It, it has like a completely custom. It, it's got it's a signature and then it's got signature. It's got. I, it's like a sketch. I can't remember who the villain is from Teen. Uh, it's got. Uh, I can't remember the villain. In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you know the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, who their villain is, let me know. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, we pulled the Shane Bieber ball yesterday. I forgot to cross that out. Uh, I got, got you. Tobin Bell jersey. Cool. Tobin Bell, I believe, is the voice actor of Jigsaw from the Saw movies. So that's it. We got a hockey jersey. Shredder. Chris Stanhope, I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, uh, Shredder. It is a Shredder sketch with his auto. Really cool stuff. So we got that kitchen sink. We've got um, the big mini wood crate. We did pull all the headliners. We pulled Jay Fields, Justin Fields yesterday. Love uh, that. I don't know if Ricky G's in the chat, but Ricky G is a Bears fan. 
So uh, I guarantee you, I know that one's a PC hit for him. Sweet. But a lot of uh, dope helmets remaining, I'm sure. Um, all of them, all the helmets in the big mini series are all specialty helmets. So you're looking at eclipses, lunar eclipses, amps, chromes, uh, other specialty helmets like that. Uh, we have past and present jersey available. About uh, looks like ten to twelve of those available. We got Danny Dimes our platinum series. We have starting lineup up as a five box break. The five final boxes in the series. We get five feet ten. I'm sorry, eight people. Yep. It is two ten a spot. I understand. It may be a little steep on the pricing, but if we get that finished, we can drop something new. Yep, we can drop something new. Also, obviously, 210 gets you five chances at full-size helmets. It, 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 so uh, it's a big break, but there's right. also a ton to be won. Exactly. A ton to be won. Not that this would happen, but it's 100% possible that you could win all five helmets. That is true. That is 100% possible, but very unlikely, obviously. Yeah, They'd uh, all have to be in the same division. Yes. A lot would have to happen, uh, but I mean, yeah, actually, lots of win there. I mean, so. you, could, you could buy into multiple spots, and you could buy into multiple spots if you too. wanted to. Anyway, so. that's up there. If you want to help us finish that one off, and then we have our Fly Day replicas, Fly Day Authentics. I know we're about eleven days off from, or buy all eight spots and get all five helmets. Sli uh, that's well, true. Bob brought that up yesterday, and that's really you can not do that. the tarot. If you are financially stable enough to do sixteen eighty. For a personal five helmet break, be our guest. I would love to see that. That'd be incredible. That would be really, really uh, awesome. Really great support. But we got Fly Day Rub Clips available and Fly Day Authentics. We're trying to get through those before 4th of July comes through. Um, so we have those up available as well. Uh, we will be doing a Dutch auction item. But before I show off what that is, let's play the Dutch auction video so you understand what Dutch auction is and what's going on. My name is not Bill Gates, although it could be if you decide to change it. <laughs> Here we go. Introducing Ultimate Autographs Dutch Auction. So, you're probably wondering, what is Ultimate Autographs Dutch Auctions and how do Dutch auctions work? Well, it's pretty simple actually. Every once in a while, an oopsie happens somewhere between the item being signed and the item arriving at Ultimate Autographs. These oopsies come in many shapes and sizes, like scratches, minor dents, or something very small that you can usually only see if you really pay attention. Because Ultimate Autographs prides itself on only providing collectors with the best of the best, we do not put these items in any of our mystery boxes, nor do we list them on our website. However, we know there are savvy collectors who are not worried about a tiny little scratch, if it means they can get a big name for very cheap. Therefore, we're going to Dutch auction these items with minor defects. When one of these items becomes available, it will be Dutch auctioned during the UA Live Breaks broadcast you're watching. As the show progresses, the price of the item will slowly lower until it hits rock bottom price. If you want to add the item to your collection, you can either wait until it hits rock bottom price, or you can snag it early, if you fear another collector in the room is interested in the item. To purchase the item at its current price, simply purchase it on a UA Live Break Room page like you would any UA Live Break spot. We hope you enjoyed this exciting game. Let the Dutch auctions begin. Veel geluk. All right, there you go. That is our Dutch auction video. That pretty much run down, runs down what Dutch auction is and uh, how you can get involved. Today we have former East Carolina Pirate, former Tennessee Titan, former New York Jet, former Arizona Cardinal. Ooh. Bounce class around. of, uh, part of the 2K class. That's right. We got CJ, Ooh. 2K, Tennessee Some Titan, heat. legend. Chris Johnson, Eclipse, full-size replica right here. Beautiful helmet right here. The auto is fantastic. Nice little 2K club uh, inscription. Biggest issue is there are a lot of scuffs. You can see there's one there, one there, a couple over there. Some scratches involved in here as well. Um, another one right by the, by the auto right there. So that's one reason why we are un unable to put this into any of our breaks, but we are willing to give it to you. For a fraction of the cost, Dennis, I've not seen a Dennis Dayton sighting in quite some time. Dennis, it, it how are you doing, man? Beautiful relief. Dennis, what's going on? <laughs> um, Good to see you. So this helmet right now is starting at $250. It'll go down via uh, Dave's. Probably about 15, every 15 minutes, we'll drop her down a little bit so there. So if you are interested in this, please check it out. It's on our live break page. Um, it's You just buy it in like a break spot, except you're not buying in for a chance of an item. You are getting an item, so... Uh, check that out if you like to. Uh, if you want to see it later on in the show, just ask me. We'd, I'd be more than happy to show it off again. All right, let's get to the nitty gritty here. 
our, what is that, like the fourth thing that we have to do, uh, which is usually the first thing, but when we have a lot of talking points, we, it becomes... A lot of housekeeping to do today. Yeah, yeah. But uh, dice roll rules, state. I'm in it every day watching. Oh. Dennis is in it. Glad to hear Dennis. Oh. Did it. I, I haven't Love seen that. your chat in a while, so I didn't know you were watching. I'm glad yeah. you were watching still. Good to hear from you, man. Love this format for breaks. I'm glad you enjoy it. We're enjoying it as well. I think it's cool to uh, be able to give stuff yeah. discounted. Yeah. You know, it's all certed still. It's all it's all legit stuff. It's just, you know, sometimes the helmet just or the auto imperfect. is just imper- imperfect. And we want to make sure everything that we give you guys in the breaks is absolutely perfect. Beautifully said. All right. Dice roll rule state. Got to be a six or higher. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, baby, it's a 10. Woo! Flat 10. It's a 10. We love to see it. Just in time for the Olympics. Hopefully uh, all of the U.S. athletes uh, get 10s. I don't know. Yes, from time to time I say hello. All right, Dennis. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right, our first break is going to be a big mini number one, a double box break. If you're part of this break, you get first dibs on calling uh, two box numbers. So let's get a box number. 10 Carpal Tunnel. (laughs) I think he's saying because you have to click so many times. Right, 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 right. <laughs> uh, I, I still have pretty... I think I'm all right still. Although, um, we'll see what happens. I was watching a documentary yesterday uh, about... Uh, it's a, it's a, it's called The the Bad Side of Football. It's on Vice Vice okay. Network. Interesting. And they have a... Uh, the, 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 the series is called The Bad Side of Football. Okay. And uh, it's like a bunch of like mini documentaries, like 45 to an hour. Nice. About just like random topics like... You know, uh, the one that I watched yesterday, or one of the ones I watched yesterday was, uh, like, playing through pain. Yeah. And, like, prescription, like, painkillers and yeah. all that. And, like, how that, players got addiction and stuff. Allows people to play through it. And then yeah. they... And it's, like, incredible, like, what they did from, like, the 70s through, like, the early 2000s. Like, yeah. To, like, one, you know, they're, they're talking about, you know, oh, yeah, there was an open, like, medicine cabinet, whereas, like, it was, like, Jeez. candy to a baby. It's just, like, you can take as many pills as you want. Jeez. And a bunch of guys are, like, you know... Uh, getting like injected with whatever uh, pain numbing it's incredible it's incredible because it's crazy. like now i've played obviously i played like 16 years of football and then i played in college and like i had some of my teammates who would be playing through injuries and they'd pop a bunch of aspirin mm. before a game and like i never had to like deal with that because i was actually pretty injury free until my senior year where i i broke my collarbone but it's just like incredible like even for nowadays, where, you know, we have medical doctors, but, like, our medical doctors aren't, like, okay, we're forcing you to play. Like, they're actually for, they're yeah. obviously at a D3 level, like, they understand most of us are not going to go pro. A little bit different. Yeah. But, like, it's incredible, like, like I watched that happen a little bit, but it wasn't, like, I don't think I had any teammates that went, like, way overboard and, like, were just yeah. taking, like, quarter, ro- quarter uh, I don't think anybody took, like, quarter, ro- uh, quarter, zone, quarter, zone. quarter zone shots or yeah. anything crazy like that, but... Um, it's crazy, like how the times change. Yeah, it and really like, is. E- even like it's it's 2021. Even like 15 years ago, mm-hmm. like 2005, 2006, like dude. I mean, were they weren't even with, CTE wasn't like a thing. Yeah, right. That people talked about back then. Yeah, where we could send in pictures of our collection. We have one from UA, and it would be okay somewhere. I have some bangers from here, Dennis. We're actually we're, working on something. I'm really glad you brought that up. Our boy Joe Aguilar is yep. working on a blog. And one of his segments is going to be talking with our collectors. Exactly and, and that. And sending in pictures. Uh, I'm going to ask you questions regarding your favorite item, what brought you into collecting, mm-hmm. what you brought to you to Ultima Autographs. So, Dennis Dayton, since you brought Sit it tight. up, I will talk to Joe, and we can see if we can make you our first guest. That first, would be fun. Uh, guest. Yeah, that's a, I love that you brought that up, Dennis. That is something that we're pretty excited about, that we're about to... Uh, to launch here as soon as we can. We're in the works of it right now. But part of the reason I brought up the, the documentary was they were talking to Anthony Munoz. And uh, he play, he's a Hall of Fame offensive lineman. What time is a flag day? Helmet break. Uh, whenever it fills. There's no time uh, whenever it fills. So could be in three minutes. Could be in 15 minutes. Could be tonight. Could be tomorrow. Yeah, whenever Same that fills with the up, we will get it done. Up. Uh, anyway, uh, they were talking to Anthony Munoz, and Anthony Munoz, offensive lineman, Hall of Famer. Uh, he was he, he uses his hands to talk, uh-huh. and his left pinky finger is just sideways. It's sideways. Oh. I'm like, dude, that is incredible. That uh, his his all his hands are all mangled up just to kind of go with the carpal tunnel. That yeah, that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, uh, we did a lot of talking there, but 
I didn't see any box numbers. How about a box number, two box numbers for the big mini series so we can start breaking some memorabilia today? Yeah, you don't want to hear me talk. Although, it, it is a cool documentary if you're into, like, football kind of history and stuff. Yeah, and Joe, I believe I might have seen a message from you come in. Um, so just a little clarification for anybody that might be a little confused. The times that you see in the titles of these listings, that's just denoting when our show starts. After that, it's just a first come, first serve, not first come, first serve, but first in, first out kind of situation well, it, it, where once it fills, we'll break it and then just kind of go down the like line first, or when we can. It's first fill, first break. Yeah, like first fill, first work. break. So a good old first in, first out accounting trick yeah, that, for you. I, I know that there are some shows out there that um, they don't have a time frame and they just break when it gets filled up. Yeah. We do a show product where we have live fills and we... So I'm here to sit, talk, uh, trivia sometimes. Bob, you want to give us one more box? Yeah, we've got please? box number 21 here. And we've got one more that we need. Since we're, we're vibing out, it's a little bit toasty in here. Or maybe it's because I'm wearing a long sleeve tee. 32. 32. We can do that. Bob, thank you. Thank you, Bob. You're the man. All right, here we go. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Joe, thank you. 21 of 35. But feel free to stay and watch until your break happens. Uh, a lot of interesting things happen. Uh, I believe uh, not a, a couple of days ago, uh, you guys talked about Marvel for some time. Yeah, um, yeah, we were doing some Marvel trivia. That was fun. That's uh, that's cool. That's, that's we have right a lot of a lot of Marvel knowledge in the chat. PSA COA. That's a little. That's right up my alley. Although I don't know if I can answer all the questions, but there were some hard questions. It's up my alley. All right, here we go. What do we got? Our first break is going to be a oh, nice little Patriots Eclipse Mini. We got Steve Grogan. Stevie. There we go. Played for the Patriots in the 80s and maybe late 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 70s, early 80s. He was a part of the uh, Patriots 85 AFC Championship team. Uh, as many of you know, we talk about it a lot. They lost <laughs> the Bears in Super Bowl 20. How can we not talk about that? Robert, nice hit. Yeah, that's a nice off. hit. <laughs> I have Kirk Cousins and Vic Helmets that are sick. That wow. Are one. Yo. Dennis, you are speaking my language. <laughs> right, so I, I, I know Dennis watches a lot. So I don't know if Dennis said those two names for a reason. I think, I think he, he did. did. I think he did too, Dennis. You're the man. Those are awesome, awesome hits. Those are by far, without a doubt, undisputed, my okay, two right. favorite oh. quarterbacks in the NFL. It's not even slightly a conversation with me. I love those. That's awesome. Wow! Oh, that's fun. Yo, Bob, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. You know, you're gonna have to take that up with Slime Four Five Nine on those yeah. box number calls. <laughs> Our top five. Love it. Top five one. Love it. Top five what? I don't know what top five, but I agree. Top five. Top five. <laughs> that's here, awesome. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna come here and. We've already done our argument, be, argument, <laughs> our argument before. I already, but I mean, argument was more of me trying to figure out what stat he was high in because I couldn't quite I always out, forget about I that. Couldn't that quite was figure funny. out what the math was. And you're like, you're like, Garrett, what are you talking about? Dude, I'm like, Dave, just help me understand what I'm trying to understand. Oh man, yeah, we were. It was like we were talking in two different languages. <laughs> that debate. Because I, I understand stats enough to like get by, but he was talking about uh, what it, was it attempts? It was. It was completion percentage, or it was yards per attempt yards versus per yards attempt. per completion. Right. So I was confused because what I was thinking was, like, if he throws a 50-yard incomplete pass, does that count as an attempt? Yeah. No, of course it doesn't count as an attempt because... Well, it does. That it does, does count, count as an attempt, attempt, but it's not. it does not count as a completion. Totally completion. Yeah. So they're just a different stat. So the way it works is it's attempts per completion. Yeah. Well, there's, there's so there's both stats. Okay. Well, there's maybe I made, stats. Right, I'm still confused then. Thirty-two of thirty-five. I think I'm still confused then. I think I got it, and now I forgot about it. Dennis, are those your Great top five, five favorite quarterbacks? Monte. Monte. That's an awesome list. I like that list for top five favorite quarterbacks. Uh, <laughs> like it a lot. Okay. Nice little hit right here. Okay. Back, oh, back in COA. Yes. Top five favorite quarterbacks. Interesting. Love it. As Kirk, as Kirky Cousins would say, you like that. You like. If you that. guys want to join my fantasy league this year, it's fifteen hundred dollars a slot and twelve people. Woo! Holy Christ! Woo! Uh, Big pot. <laughs> Joe, Joe, I I love the invitation. Um, wow. When do you guys do your 
do your draft because oh my goodness, I would have <laughs> fifteen a hundo. Wow, is it that winner? Is, is it winner takes all? Is it yeah? What's is it winner take? If it's winner take all, I'm considering it. If it's not. Um, maybe Bortles maybe made, maybe second place gets their money back or something. I know that's how we do our league. I, I, all right, nice little hit right here. We got ourselves there a go. Drew Lockett. Okay. Broncos. Okay. The uh, Eclipse right there now. It, now, Dave, you, 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 is Drew Lockett going to be the guy, or is it going to be Teddy? Is it going to be Teddy Bridgewater's team, or or <laughs> is Sir Aaron Rodgers going to be? I a believe. Denver Bronco? Steven, nice hit. I think that if winner gets 15k, wow. second gets 3k. Can okay, I, I can get behind that. I can get behind that breakdown. That's know, savage. I don't mean to. I don't mean to. Uh, I don't mean to brag, but I have won like. Well, I've won a fair amount of leagues. Okay. As of late. Now I also don't think this sounds way too freaking. Like everyone knows everything about every yeah. single player, <laughs> because. Um, I don't. I mean, I play against people who watch the NFL, but I also play against people who like watch the NFL for three weeks and then don't move their team for the whole time. Yeah. So um, that's that's. It's like it's kind of like a fake win. I know what you're saying. And Maybe. like I've also played in leagues where we only had four people because it's like all my roommates. Okay. And I only had I only had three other people, so like everyone had stacked teams. Yeah. Uh, but I have won fantasy before, so like that. Is two days before the season because we don't like it when people. Get hurt in preseason. That's a great point. I I uh, appreciate that. Who's Brady's least favorite quarterback? Well, it's gotta be it's gotta be whoever, wh whatever team kept I mean, their quarterback be. instead of picking him up. So I can't remember. Is it the 49ers? So would it be Jimmy G or was it the Bears and it's Mitch Trubisky? It could be. I could see it being the Bears and Mitch Trubisky. I if if we're really answering that question. There's I, no I other it, answer other it. than Eli Manning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I get, it probably is. Eli it's got to be Eli Manning. Manning. Yeah, that's a really good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Oh. Hunter Hoops. <laughs> Bortles, Minshew, Lawrence are his top three oh, quarterbacks. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All righty. Here we go. Uh, we got Kitchen Sink <laughs> Mixer number one. Let's get a box number one. We'll break the box and then randomize funny. the names. We got 12, 14, 19, and 20 in the room. Here we go. We love everything about everybody. Yeah, I don't know if that's probably the league for me to... I know enough about everybody where I can, I can, fi I can find the sleepers. But, I mean... I mean, I actually, I actually did pretty well. I picked Chris McCaffrey with the first overall pick, and he didn't play the entire year. That one hurts. And I think I came in, like, third place. I had, uh... 19. 19. Thank you, Hunter. I had the sixth overall pick in my draft. Yeah. I drafted Michael Thomas. <laughs> Mr. Slancelot. And then he got Mr. hurt. Mr. Injury Boy. And I ended up actually being able to trade him for James Conner and... I believe I got Adam Thielen as well for Michael Thomas after week one. Wow. Good and play. It, oh, it was it was good the play. trade of the, the year. When my team was still trash, unfortunately. That's unfortunate. But it was the trade of the year for sure. Nineteen of fifty five. Here, Here we go. go. Um let's find out what we're uh what we're going for before we do that top spot breaks. Good year. Nineteen fifty five? Oh, I love nineteen fifty five. Oh yeah. That's probably the, the great, the best jet dad joke. Is when your dad, you know, hey, the, the price will be, t uh, you know, nineteen nineteen seventy six. Ah, huh? great year. Oh, love it. I remember back if in nineteen seventy six. If you were wondering, we gambled degenerately. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. It's not gambling when you know you're gonna win, right? It's a good point. All right, so I'm not entirely sure who this player is, although it is a cool jersey. We got. Let's find out. Dino. Can't pronounce that. Is that a? It is a. It looks like North or er, South North, Dakota or North, North Dakota. It's a North Stars jersey. Ooh, oh. It's, if someone can maybe put it in the cease, it's it's Italian, so you got to pronounce all the vowels. It is a uh, Cy Carilli, Cy Carilli, Dino Cy Carilli, North Star Hall of Famer. Sorry, y'all. Where's Joe when you need him? I got no JoJo here today. Let's see what we got here. 
If you can get, you get like, if you can get uh, like Siri on the on the on the blower here, Cicerilli. Dino Cicerilli. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate you so Mr. much, Mr. Dino. Dino Cicerilli. Let's former see. Star. Dino Dino. Holy smokes! He played for a long time. Played for almost twenty years in the NHL. All right, ten times on a randomizer. Let's see who's gonna get this. Way Had here. a couple of All Star nods. Nine and ten go with two. Blair, Blair, Snyder. First time customer first takes time, home a jersey. Let's first go. Time customer, first time W. Congratulations. It's a nice little hockey jersey. Congratulations. I love go. the hockey jerseys, man. The long sleeves. I don't know why. I just think they are so cool. It's got a Hall of Fame 2010 inscription on it. Let's go. And it says Minnesota on the other side. There you go, Blair. Nice hit. All right. Always fun to pull something a little bit different, something we don't see every day. No. No. One player that is way underestimated is Lavishka Chanel. I agree. Dennis, I've been hearing nothing but great things about Lavishka Chanel. Lavishka Chanel. Chenault, excuse me. I believe it's. I, believe, I, believe, I, th yeah. I always. I thought the T was silent in that. Could be wrong, but he has been. I've seen multiple. I've gotten multiple notifications from Sleeper and ESPN, um, and there was one other one that I got it from that said that he has by far been the most impressive player in OTAs. And I also just got a kind of interesting insider scoop from. No, okay. No, I, I did get an interesting notification today from Sleeper. Um, they are kind of funny with their notifications. But apparently Urban Myers came out today and quoted, Trevor Lawrence is not ready. Wow. Which, obviously, I mean, it's Minshew first Mania, year, baby! Minshew Mania. Joe, we are located in Burr Ridge, Illinois, uh, about, what is it, 20, on a good day, about 20 minutes from Chicago. I'd say about 35. Okay, fair 35. enough. 35. Fine. Um, I guess I do live north, so... Has a little bit of time there, but yeah, we are just south, south uh, west of the city, of a beautiful Chicago, the best city in the country, if I do say so myself. I'm sure, I'll get some hate in the chat for that. Can't argue with that. I was expecting it. Can't argue with you. <laughs> Can't argue with that. To be it. All right, here we go. I want to. I'm in Michigan, well, not too far. Hey, there you go. Where are you in Michigan, Joe? I uh, I'll be going up to Traverse City for Fourth of July. I'm looking gonna, forward gonna, to the it. The Cherry Fest, dollar? The che I will be going to Cherry Fest. Yes. 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 Dude, I that was super fun. When uh, my parents and I went, I don't know if you're uh, if you're into the uh, the whole minor league baseball scene. I'm sure you are. I don't know why I asked. I, I don't know if you <laughs> are, but uh, you got to go to a Beach Bums game, man. All right. The Horror Traverse Beach City Beach Bums? Yes. I can do that. First of all, come on. with The name is fantastic. It's yep. like a bunch of like suntan bears. Love that. Oh, I love that. And, yeah. That's fun. But uh, we went, my goodness, when was when did I go to Traverse City? That had to have been like maybe eight or ten years ago. But that was a lot of fun. Very nice, Joe. I actually, my parents live in Traverse City, but my brother lives in suburb of Detroit. I'll let you know if I'm ever in the area. Oh, got a lot of detail guys. Love it. A lot of Lions fans. All right, I have to. I have to ask our Detroit natives. How do you guys feel about Detroit pizza? Detroit style pizza, Gary. Have you ever had it? Yeah. So I've had Jets, which is the Detroit style pizza around here. Yeah, that's like the the chain, and yeah. I think that's pretty common in Detroit as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. How do you feel? Do you like Detroit style pizza? I have a household divided in my house. So uh, I'll be honest. I've had it. Twice, maybe. Twice. Um, yeah, and it's not terrible. Yeah, it's it's suitable. I think it's I think it's good, but I think I'm spoiled, and we're spoiled with deep Chicago dish. styles. Got some good pizzas, so you know I think it's it's tough to compare those to. It's, it's not it's not it's tough to compare those to. Um, yeah, you know. I'm with I'm with Joe here. It's it's fine. Yeah, 
It's it may it's not, not be the, the worst pizza I've ever you, had. You know, if you and your family, what's on the pizza? Ball bearings and ham shafts. <laughs> No, those all went to those all left the city. <laughs> Not the pizza for me. Uh, let's get a box number for past and present jersey, please. There we go. Um, yeah, I've only had it a couple times. My house is divided. I've got two of my roommates. Absolutely love it. They've been on the hunt for awesome Detroit style pizza ever since we moved to Chicago. Well, me and my that, other that's roommate. Their first problem. I know, right? Is like looking for Detroit pizza <laughs> in Chicago. Bob, I do like a good old Detroit Coney. I won't lie, those are good. I think it's so funny. Just the idea of Coney Island restaurants are so out there. But they've got literally anything you could ever want. I love the vibes that they have. I always have to make it a point to go to a, a Coney when I'm in Detroit. My brother usually brings me. He See, loves a good Coney. See, I um I need it I need a, I have family up in Kalamazoo. Another great place to go. Okay, and watch I've baseball. never been. I've never been to Kalamazoo. Another great place to watch. They have a. They have a college. They have a college summer league team called the Kalamazoo Growlers. The Growlers. And they play in this little, cute little stadium. But like, it's super entertaining. It's like fun. It's like five bucks a seat, and Can't it's like all bleacher it. seats. Like yep. you're at like the park. Yeah. But it, it was That's super fun. fun. That's cool. Oh yeah. <clears throat> all right, we got fifty four of sixty. I've been to a lot of minor league. Every time me and my parents go on vacation somewhere, we try and go minor league because it's obviously a lot in it more inexpensive. So Ac I've been to Akron Arrows. I've been to the Pot Potomac Nationals, <coughs> the Indianapolis Indians. I've been to a lot of games. All right, here we go. We got ourselves a oh a Shaq Barrett. Okay. Jersey right there. Just got himself a contract extension with the Super Bowl champions. I love the cream outline on the numbers for those jerseys. So that's not cream. That is like a... Uh, like a creamsicle. Creamsicle. Yeah, yeah that's... Sorry, right. I should have said right. that because that's the, the variation is called for those old-time right, 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 right. Bucks helmets. Uh, it's going to be NFC South and Ryan Murray. Ryan, nice hit. Yeah, that's a real nice hit, Ryan. Very cool. Although my, my goal in life is to go to every... And MLB Stadium. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I think that would be is uh, yes. I've got a couple that I I definitely have on my list. I agreed. I got Fenway's the obvious. You know, everyone wants to go to Fenway. Yep. I've got a couple of odd ones. I won't lie. That's okay. Um, I really want to go to AT and T Park. You gotta refresh me on on who the plays uh, there. the Giants. Just right on the bay. Right, right. I would love to sit right between the like in that tiny yeah, yeah. little home run section, like on like, the brick wall. like where Bar Barry Bonds hit his yes. last home run, like yes. right over there. Right, yeah, like yeah. yeah, where if a ball is going in the bay, it's going right over my head. Yeah. I think that would be awesome. Yeah. My other really random park, and recent news has made me not want to go as much, but also a little bit more than I wanted to go before. I would love to go to Minute Maid Park. Minute Maid Park. Hate the Astros. <coughs> hate them even more ever since they got caught cheating. <coughs> I don't know why. I just think that park is so cool. It's like a little mini village it's dope, inside. It's, cool. it's like all inside. And they've got like the cool like restaurant shopping area or whatever it is in the back. Yep. I think it's just kind of cool. It's unique. Yeah. I, I want to go to, uh, I mean, the White Sox just played the, the Pirates. So PNC Park PNC, looks yep. just like cool because that's like all of their stadiums are like kitty corner. Um, I mean, you, yeah, you gotta go to like I mean, Yankees, awesome. <laughs> Where says the get, Pirates have the nicest stadium to worst team ratio? <laughs> that's facts. That's funny. That's facts. Um, yeah, but the I've Pirates been to, are a little bit in I've shambles been, right I've now. I've been huh? to four four stadiums. You've been four? Been to okay. Four. So I've been to the Cell. Yep. Guaranteed rate. No, nope, it. it's the it's the sell. It's the sell unless you're older than I am. Then it's Comiskey. And if yep. you're younger than me, you don't know the history. No, <laughs> um, so I've been to the sell. I've been to Wrigley. I've been to uh, Miller Park. Yep. And I've been to the Rogers Center. Where's that? Which is where the Blue Jays play. Blue Jays. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's a fun one. Yeah. Little international action. It was, that was cool. Nice. There is a super cool because they, they have an open. It can be open or closed. And the day we went, it was open. And uh, right there is the CN Tower. Nice. Uh, so it's like a really dope view. And then the day before we went to the game, we went to the CN Tower, and then you can like look down. And I want to say they were playing like a 120 game. Oh, cool. So like they're playing the game while you're like looking down 
at the CN Tower, and that, that's really nice because that's fairly close to where the water is, and then they have this giant, like, um, kind of courtyard-esque park. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like, okay. It's in the middle. It's, like, right by downtown, but it's also, like, by itself, and then it's right down the street from the Air Canada Center, which is where the okay. Maple Leafs that's cool. and the uh, Raptors play. And then even farther down is, I don't know the name of the stadium, but that's where the Argonauts play, which is another, like, beautiful stadium for Canadian okay. football. Cool. So, like, they have, like, kind of, they don't have, like... A lot of going on. They're not all, like, boom, boom, boom. Like, if you, I don't know if you've ever been to Philly, but Never Philly, been to Philly has all of their stadiums in the same parking lot. That's... I kind of like that. That's cool. They're all on, they are on one big-ass block. Yep. And you got Lincoln Financial, wherever the Phillies play, and then the whatever the Philadelphia Flyers yeah. slash Sixers and they're all so like it's just like a so Lincoln, Fi- Lincoln Financial is like he, over here and then there's their parking lot and then over there is Philly and then on the other corner is where the, the, the arena is and every all of them have their own parking but all of them have connected okay, parking so they do have their own parking and so, then also okay yeah. that makes sense but it's like it's just a it's I was a, gonna say what happens if there's multiple games going on so at I, once so I, to be honest I believe that they have it probably figured out where it's like they schedule like like all right so the Eagles are playing at whatever the Eagles are playing at noon yeah and then the I don't know the, the Sixers aren't playing until eight o'clock yeah like for where like, if it's on the same day and they figure it out Citizen Bank and Wells Fargo slime you are goaded I'm so I it's incredible <laughs> you know that but we, nice. I actually took a tour of Lincoln Financial Field one time that we went to very Columbia. cool. And that was so cool. Like, interesting to me that they were able to, like, build it where it's, like, all the stadiums are in the same yeah. parking lot. They just had that much space to commit to it, and they had the plan, and they did it. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, not right, obviously not right in downtown. Most stadiums are not right in downtown. It's hard to do that. Yeah. Well, I, I, I guess other than, like, Wrigley's. I mean, Wrigley's not in downtown, but they're, like... It's, it's on the outskirts. Like, it's honestly... I mean, I always tell this to my mom, and she's like, Dave, you're full of crap. Like, I always tell my mom, like, I, mean, I really don't live in the city. Like, I live in Wrigleyville. <laughs> And it's just so different. Yeah. Obviously, it is, yes, Chicago. It's in the city. But, I mean, like, can you imagine having a stadium in the loop? Like, it just <laughs> wouldn't work. Like, you couldn't. Like, it would make going to a game so miserable. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's just not enough Soldier space. Soldier Field's already miserable to get I, to. Exa- anyway. Well, yeah, exactly. Soldier Field isn't even in yeah. the city. Like, it's right on the lake. It's on the outskirts. They yeah. have their own parking. And it's still an absolute hassle Nightmare, to get yeah. to. So yeah. bad that they're thinking about moving. Put yeah. in bids. I mean, I'm not too worried about Lori it. Lori Lightfoot isn't wanting them to stay, it seems like. I'm, I'm not really worried about it. If they move, I could still going to be the Bears. It's not like the team's going to get changed. I could not believe that the mayor of Chicago took a shot at the Bears. <laughs> that was so cold. It is what it is sometimes, That man. was so cold. It is what it is. What are you going to do? It's all right. Uh, I guess... Oh, right. Garrett. I'm going to drop down that Dutch auction. I was just about to say that, and then also if you want to run down what we got yes. available. So we've got our Chris Johnson football. That was starting at $250. Because it has been about 35 minutes, I will drop that down to $220. Perfect. $220. 220 for a full size. Is that a replica or yes. an authentic? Rep. Full size rep of Chris Johnson, Mr. 2K himself. Two twenty. All right, Gary. Let me give you a little rundown here. Looks like we've got a couple of spots sold out in each. We've got our past and present jersey with six spots left. We've got our kitchen sink mixer with eight spots left. The big mini series with five spots left. Our flag day authentic and our flag day rep both have seven spots left, as well as our starting lineup also has seven spots left. Someone bought a spot in it? Yeah. Some go- someone, some goat bought a spot in the five-box banger. Uh, looks like it. Isaac. And then we've got Danny loaded. Dimes, eight spots left there. Loaded dice. The uh, the three, the, we go by cases there. So guaranteed headliner in each set of three. Three boxes will be broken for each break sold out. We got seven spots left there. And then we are wide open on our Panini ones. Wide open. So, the world is our oyster, as Donnie always loves when I say. We could break whatever we want. The bar is open. 
<sighs> All right, Garrett. Let me see what my trivia is today. I don't think anybody bought into the starting lineup. At least it's not coming up online. Oh. Yeah, I'm tripping. Let me see. So it's just taking some time here. Which one is the guaranteed headliner? That's the uh, loaded dice. The loaded dice has a guaranteed headliner. So it's 125 a spot. It's uh, three helmets per break. So or three, yeah, three boxes. Um, one of the three is a guaranteed headliner. Um, and then, yeah, so you get the same division for all three boxes, and we just rip them all open. <clears throat> Pardon me. My goodness. i got a tickle in my throat. Around old and old men. Oh my god. Shea, Citizen Bank, Fenway, Camden Yards, The Vet, Memorial. Holy crow. Crow. Holy cow. Holy crow. That's incredible, Bob. I also want to go to every NFL stadium at some point, too. Although that's going to be a little more expensive to get. Wow. Bob, you made it. Made you some made trips. your way around. That's awesome. Some of those old, like, Astrodome and the whole the old ballpark at Arlington, was those are incredible. Those are really cool. Dodger stadiums. We got to get you to the friendly confines, Bob. Yep. Got to get you to the cell there, Bob. <laughs> Watch the fireworks go off. I've been seeing some stuff on Twitter saying that the uh, good old guaranteed rate bleachers are giving the Wrigley bleachers a run for their money. Oh, with, with this. With what? The cup snakes or fights? With just um, activity, fun had, fun had, fun had is oh. how I'll put it. Oh. And I don't mind saying I've got a hard time buying that, as someone who has spent some time out in the Wrigley Field bleachers. Okay, fair enough. Um, I have, no I have never been to the White Sox bleachers. Never been. I've seen some rowdy folks out there. I've only been to the White Sox stadium once. I won't lie. I have to brag a little bit. It was for Mark Burley's perfect game, which was absolutely electric. That has got to be absolutely electric, dude. It was awesome. That is incredible. It was awesome. That is, wow. Yeah. The one time I've ever been to a White Sox game Damn. in person. It was my friend's birthday. We just had, like, nosebleed seats. We were, like, seventh grade. We had no idea what was happening until, like, the seventh inning. It was fun. It was very cool. That's crazy, because I actually I went to the thrift store, and I found... One of the shirts, like the commemorative yeah. shirt that said "For Mark Burley's Perfect Game," so that's pretty cool. That is cool. Wow. Yeah, that was fun. That is cool. That is very cool. Cubs pitching a combined no hitter last night. Incredible. Zach Davies has been pitching lights out this yeah. past month. Honestly, that's right. Our bullpen has been pitching lights out all season. Craig Kimbrell had no idea that he even contributed to a he team. Didn't know he was even a part of anything. Yeah, he was just going out there and. Doing his job, playing ball. I like that. I actually, I actually love that he had no idea. He was just going out there, laser focused in, in ball. He had a job to do, and he was gonna go do it. I was just shut down the side. I think it's funny that we were winning four zero, and he went in, and he didn't think anything of that. <laughs> like you usually wouldn't put your your ace closer out there in a four zero game, you know. I mean, sometimes you're just focused, and you're, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he must have I mean, been save, locked in. I, I, was, I think a save opportunity is a save opportunity no matter what, right? Nope. It has. You cannot be winning by more than like if you were winning by three runs, it's a save opportunity. Oh. If it's four runs, I believe it's just considered a hold. Okay, interesting. Not a save. Interesting. Because the game is not in savable jeopardy. I don't know. All oh, right, because you. Okay, I get it. Because you can't lose on one at bat. I think that is like like if, if you're up three nothing, you could lose on a grand slam. That would make sense. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I don't know what happens like if you're winning by four, and then you give up two runs. Like, does it turn into a save? It may turn into a save opportunity. Or like, let's say you're winning by four and you give up five runs. Does it turn into a blown save, or is that a loss? I believe that would be a loss. See, I don't know how any of that works. Okay, no, I, I don't either. Because I don't know how many innings do a, how many innings does a pitcher have to pitch to be considered for a win? Is it five innings? 
Do you, have to be, do you have to be a part? Do you have to be, no? No, no, you don't have to pitch. I believe it's. it all matters you, you about to, when you go in and what the score is. Okay, so, okay. Because you could get a win with one inning pitched, I believe. Right, you can. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's, do we have any baseball gurus out there that that's know? That's a complex stat that I don't know anything about. Baseball stats are so hard to follow. Yeah. I don't know how to do the math for any of, like, the OBS slugging percentage. OPS or has OPS. been a stat that has been... So advertised my whole entire life of watching baseball. No Couldn't sure. tell you. I know what it is. I know it's on base plus slugging percentage. Well, that's a kind of math. That's a math class I would have taken in high school. I'll put my hand up, Garrett. Yeah. I don't know what slugging percentage is. So what I think it means is, I, I, someone can tell me if I'm wrong, and I could be just crazy. Is I want to say balls out of the infield. I don't think that's what it is. No. I think it has something to do with... It can't be, it can't be like exit velocity. No. I think what it, it has to do with runs scored. So, like, I think it has to do with... Not it RBI. Weighs, it, it weighs your chance of scoring a run or hitting an RBI against your execution of doing that. I think. I could be completely wrong. But, for example, like, let's say you have a runner on first and you go up to bat. And he scores. Okay. That increases your slugging percentage more okay, here we than are, right? if you were to have a runner on third base <laughs> and he scores. You're going to be so pissed. What is it? You're beyond incorrect. Slugging percentage represents the total number of bases a player records per at-bat. Unlike... Okay, unlike, so unlike, like extra base hits. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's, it's one bags plus two bags times two plus three bags times three plus okay. a home run times four divided by the number at-bats. Okay, all right. I, that makes sense. That's a lot more simple than I thought it was. Yeah. That is way more simple than it. So it's really just every at-bat? So if they hey, if they strike out, they get zero it would, That bases. would go against their slugging percentage. Yeah. And, of course, against their on-brace percentage, which then, of course, would go against their batting average. Okay, so the best slugging percentage you can have is 1,000. Right, that's, yes. Right? Uh, no, 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 four. No, wait, what? So uh, a, a, a single count is just itself. Eight. Okay. So, like, I, I'm the way I'm thinking of it is like, let's say you have a thousand. So, like, if you hit a triple, your slugging percentage is seven fifty. If you hit a double, it's five hundred. No, that wouldn't make any sense. It should be the other way around. If you hit a sing- no, because you want a high slugging percentage. Yeah, but a single should be two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I think you said seven fifty. No, bad. no, no. Triple is seven fifty. A home double run is, is five hundred. Home run is a thousand. home runs a thousand. Okay. And everything so then, else, ground and, outs, sing, uh, strikeouts, blah, blah, blah. And that's and why... Walks don't go against your... Walks don't go for your slugging percentage. Because you have to get a hit. That makes sense. Right. Although a double is not worth exactly twice as much as a single in the context of scoring runs, slugging percentages is still one of the best elevators of power because it, it accounts for more than just home runs. Okay. Slugging percentage can also be applied as an ele- elevate, evaluate, evaluative tool for pitchers Although this is done less frequently, in such cases it is referred to as a slugging percentage against. Okay. All right, that makes sense. And that's why you can have an OPS of over 1,000 because it's just your slugging percentage plus, plus your, your on-base. Plus your walks, hit-by-pitches, stuff like that. Just everything, your right. batting average, all that stuff. Okay, that makes sense. Gary, thank you for looking that up. I've got my whole life You know what? I've just my paralyzed life. by confusion. I've gone my entire life and I was just like, I just thought that slugging percentage was just like, the amount of times you just, like, got it out of the infield. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, cool. Your slugging percentage is really good because you can hit the ball out of... Tonight, going to see the some Somerset New Jersey Patriots against the Portland Sea Dogs at Hadlock Field, Portland, Maine, Double A. Patriots are Yankees farm. Sea Devils are Red Sox farm. Well, that should be a good game. That should be just... Called, that should be similar to Yankees Red Sox. Uh, Bob, is there... Is it a promo night? You get... Are they giving away a bobblehead? A hat? That's is it fun. like dollar hot dog night? Like, what's going on? Dollar hot dog night is my favorite promo. Yo, night. so they're at, at the Kane County Cougars uh-huh. for one summer. It was like it, I want to say it was two summers. No, no. Oh, for one summer, they never. I never saw them do it again. They did. You ready for this? You ready for this? Penny hot dog night. <laughs> I mean, Penny hot dog Wednesdays, baby. 
penny hot dog. I'm walking up with a single dollar bill, and I am asking for 100 hot dogs. So I think there was a limit per time you go up. Duh! Okay, hold on. It was either penny hot dog or dime hot dog night. I want to say it was penny hot dog. because If it's dime, I'm still walking with one dollar. I'm saying 10 glizzies. Yeah. Stat. Yeah. (laughs) I love that. I want to say it was something ridiculous like that. Yes. That's fun. Um, Why they were doing it? You ever... You ever attempted to do a nine nine nine, Garrett? I have no, in, I have no idea what you're referring. Oh, to. you know what a nine 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 is. Nine oh, innings oh, of baseball. Okay, nine, nine hot, hot dogs, dogs and nine beers. And nine beers. Okay, I've never attempted to do a nine nine nine. And the hard part is that you have to, you have to stay on pace. Right. So, like, when the first inning is concluded, you have, you have to have consumed consume one beer hot. and one hot dog. You I, can't I, like stockpile. Like, you can't like let it go behind and that then sounds, go. That sounds expensive. It's not something you do at the stadium. I would probably, for multiple reasons, do it recommend home. doing it at home. <laughs> Especially if you puke. Keep multiple it, reasons. Keep it clean. Most bring, how's the, that Mario Golf? Nick, yep. I will be screaming down I-55 home after work so I can, I can get all of the intel that I need to tell you how it is. I have not gotten it yet. I have gotten word from my roommates. It has been downloaded. And it has been purchased. I have watched a, a video or two of it today. <laughs> and um, I don't have a Switch. But the boys told me about it yesterday, and I was like, whoa. You're liking it, Nick? I love that. That's great to hear. I about it. Because I, I actually I played a little PGA Tour 2K21. Love that game, too. And that was a little fantastic. bit different of a, you know. Yeah, they, obviously Mario's a little bit more for uh, a little more fun. More, more casual playing. Casual play where, where... I will say, though, man, they do a pretty good job of... I mean, you can still put the spin. You got the wind. You got all this stuff. Well, as, like, I, as I was watching a video, and as you level up your player, then you can like add better control, better speed, better and, stuff like that. Yeah. And then you know you can shape shot stuff like this. So it's a pretty complex. Um, I don't want to be like that guy because it's a very complex kids game. I, yeah, I know no, it's not but a kids that, game, though. but it's like I know it's not really a kids game. But I, 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 I think it's fair to assume not a not assume consider. Mario games are more geared towards the younger Yes, but crowd. we've grown up with all the Mario games. And I, yeah, when I was a kid, I was through and through a Mario guy. Right, like, right. I didn't have an Xbox until high school. Right. I had nothing but Nintendo. Um, hey, Baba, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Uh, have a great Bob. night at the, at the ball game. We'll miss you. To, yeah. The boys will miss you tonight. Yeah, have um, fun, man. I think we're going to go a little last call here. We haven't had an order in about 20 minutes. Good call. Uh, you know what we're going to do? I think we're going to roll this Chris Johnson over to tomorrow, uh, tonight. Okay, yeah, we'll roll it over, and I'll drop it down again right now. And we'll just leave it up at the at the price it's at until tonight, and we'll just monitor it throughout the day. We'll go a flat 200 on that for, for ending today, if anyone wants to scoop that up. Just because we got into a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of all over the place kind of talk. Yeah. We got into a lot of different... What can we say? We're jack of all trades here. Yeah. Nick, I saw that. I'm I'm very impressed that they did that. Yeah. Where if you have a hill, like if you're on a hill, yeah. You know, in golf, like if you're on a hill, that's like you know oh, a downslope. Okay. You pull you kind of pull the ball. Yeah. It factors that in in Mario Golf. I think that's pretty cool. So if you're on a hill, your your ball's gonna go higher up in the air. No. Nope. Uh, if it's going the right, like so, let's say I'm on a hill. Yep. Where. Like, I'm leaning backwards like this. Okay. Like you're going to pull that ball. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. Or if you're leaning forward, like, you're going to oh, push I see it just I... because of the angle that you're hitting the ball okay, at. so I was thinking, like... Well, not... so if you're if I was on a hill like this, yeah. then you're absolutely right. It would oh, go up. Oh, that's exciting. It's pretty cool. interesting that it affects that and that they've worked that into the game. That is cool. I also am very excited about the speed golf. I think that is uh, genius I, addition. I looked at it. Yeah. It's interesting. So yeah. you, have, you have a minute 30 per hit. Per hit? Yes. That's a lot. So, I, 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 what I'm guessing is, because there's like a speed, you can like run faster. Yep. Which means you can like knock people over. Okay. So, like, let's just say like... So, it's like a whole part of it. You're like, racing. Like if, you, if you play in a party, I'm yeah. assuming you could probably play with like, what, eight I think people? At least three, four. At least four. So, like, if you are just keep knocking people over, like, you may... It's possible you could not get to your ball by a minute 30. Yeah. But every time you get to your ball, it, the clock it resets. resets. Okay. So, I, I think the game is played where here's the thing it's like it's not like i think i've seen some games where it's like all right the, as soon as the first person gets the ball in the hole then the time starts going down i think like uh, i don't know if you ever played golf with friends like on your phone yeah okay i know what you're talking like about. that game when you used to play people online whoever got to the hole first then there'd be a clock where it's like if you don't get to it you get disqualified or whatever yeah, you get it. this is not like that case this is just like you're just playing golf really fast okay it involves running 
It involves knocking people over. It involves... Do you know if there's any bonus if you finish first? I feel uh, like there should be. So, the, 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 what I watched, the gameplay I watched today, it does not look like... He, it does not look like... In the version he was playing, he was playing the adventure mode. Okay. Which I, you can... Uh, a little bit different. You can tell me whether or not I'm wrong. That's pretty much like the campaign yeah. kind of story mode type thing. You use your me player and nice. you go through like... You start as a rookie, you play a bunch of tournaments, stuff like that. A classic. So he was playing two Mario characters in a thing and it didn't look like... I mean, he got into first place like seven of the nine holes. Okay. But I don't know, if, like, if you play people, like, you play your friends. Yeah, split screen. I feel like there's probably, like, if you get there first, you yeah. know, I don't know if you... I feel like you should get something. I don't know if there's, like, a coin advantage, if there's, yeah. like, oh, you get an extra 10 seconds next time, or what that something. is. Something. I'm sure, I'm sure that there is rules. Yeah. I feel like that is a really easy thing to have in yeah. the game. I think, honestly, I mean, just the fact that you don't have to spend two hours to play a four-person round of 18 holes yeah. of Mario Golf is killer huge. Yeah, right. Because no one, no one has the time to do that. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to do that, you'd rather, like, go play golf. Exactly. Like, that's a commitment. Yeah. Like, if you're talking anything over an hour... Yeah. Like, I have to plan... I like, know. I, I don't just sit... You know, like, it's hard to just find four people to spend an hour plus right. on Mario Golf, unless you're truly planning on doing I'm going to talk to you on Monday, and I'm going to ask you that question. Hey, did you play? spend two hours playing Mario I mean, Golf? Oh, don't get me wrong. I will be spending far more than that. <laughs> but it's such a big... like. Yeah. It's so much easier to spend four hours playing 20-minute video mini games yeah, good than it point. is one round. It right. just feels so daunting. I'm hoping they have some... Which headliners are left in the big minis? There are none left, Christopher. We yeah, we have the last, through all of them. The last we actually, two, we have six boxes we left there. The, we pulled the last two yesterday. They are still all specialty helmets. That's correct. So there are still some very good hits in there. That is correct. Just not um, Your headline. advertised headliners. Yes. So uh, and also I do not know what's up with the ju judge auction. We got uh, Chris Johnson going for two hundred dollars. Here it is, right some, here. Some nicks and scratches on there. A few scuffs on it. So this couldn't put scuffs. it in a series, but we can absolutely get it to you guys as long as we tell you about a few scuffs there. What's going on with it? A few scuffs there. A few scratch, a scratch right there. Another scuff by the autograph, but the autograph is perfect. Beautiful white paint pen. Chris Johnson, 2K Club inscription on it. I mean, eclipse. If you, if you display this, sick. If you display this somewhere. Unless somebody is looking at it like it's a museum, you can't see any of the yeah. all of the all of the all the scuffs and stuff are on the backside or the opposite side of the autograph. Yeah. This would so be perfect you, for if, a personal question. If you're an East Carolina guy, yep. if you are a Tennessee Titan fan, or if you just if you like just really good running Chris backs. Chris Johnson. Yeah. Which I think most of us do. I think Chris Johnson was way ahead of his time when it came to yep. elusiveness, speed, definitely. Being able to catch the football out of the backfield. Yeah. Um unfortunately just with some Yes, it is a it rep. Is a rep. It is yeah. a rep eclipse. It is an eclipse rep. Uh dope. I mean, uh, we don't see a whole lot of Titans eclipses. Yeah, but, I mean, this is a super, super clean eclipse. I love their light blue with the black. Very clean. Very clean. Very, very, very clean. How many left in the big mini? I jump in if we are close. Uh, we've got five people left. Five yeah, we've got left. five spots left five in the big mini there. Left. So that's close-ish. Close-ish. Um, and yeah, you guys know if uh, if anything doesn't fill up all the way, just gets carried over to the next show. So feel free to hop into anything you guys are feeling and. We yeah, will always you, get it broken it, eventually. You know what? If you want to secure yourself a spot, yeah. you can buy in. Because it is right now. And I will say we can't post another mini until we do get through number two. Our first mini that we've got posted. So, that's right. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's where we're at on those minis. All right. Well, I'll leave that up here. Yeah, and we'll leave the Chris Johnson Dutch auction up through the afternoon until our night show. Yeah. Um, so if you guys want to, you know, think about it, scoop it up, you know, whatever, after we hop off our stream, that's absolutely uh, an option for you. And then we'll also carry it through to tonight's show as well. So yeah, uh, if it doesn't get scooped up before then, there is only one of them. I always want to preface it with that. Once it sells, it's gone. So yeah. yeah with that but, being said, Garrett, Yeah. might not be a... Uh, might be time for a last call. Yeah, I think we have last call number two now. Uh, like <laughs> I forgot we already made last call. My good. bad. It's My bad. Good. I'll do the Dutch for 180. Yeah, we'll take 180. 180 works. We'll take 180. It's all yours. Let me drop her down right now. There you go. Uh, Gary, are you a Titans fan? Are you a Chris, are you a Chris Johnson fan? Are you just you just need it? Do you need a Titan for your collection? Let us know. 
All right, she's updated. Should love, be good to go. You'll love to see it. We can stick around until we get that uh, taken care of for you. There you go. You loved it. That was fantastic. Thank you. Uh, I guess you're welcome. Thank you. Love, CJ. But I'm a Packers fan. I know, I know. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I hate you, but it's hey, right okay. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with liking no, somebody that's not right. on your team. That's okay. Nothing wrong My at first all. first fantasy pick ever. Wow. wow. Good pick. That is a, depending on the year, yeah. that is an unbelievable pick. Yeah, you, if it's 2008, you're cooking. 2008? 2009. I think it was 2009. Nah. I'll find out. It was last year. <laughs> oh, wait. I remember hearing about this. Did that, that actually. Haha, it was last year. I no, feel like there was. I feel like that sounds so familiar. If somebody accidentally picked Chris Johnson last year and they mentioned it in our chat, oh, maybe I'm kidding. thinking he's of something joking. else. He was joking. All right, Nick. I don't know why I thought. <laughs> maybe it was something with David Johnson. It was 2009. Okay. He rushed for 2,006 yards, 14 touchdowns. He had a 91 yard rush, averaged 125 yards a game. Crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. He rushed the ball 358 times that year. 358 times. There it is. Garrett with the acquisition of the Chris Johnson. Garrett, thank you. What am I What am I thinking about? There was somebody that had a draft blunder <laughs> this past year where they drafted somebody that was like out of the league or like basically out. I don't remember, but that's funny. Garrett, I'm glad we could get you that, uh, that Dutch auction. That's I awesome. I love that. I love that you said, hey, I just showed up. Hey, can I get that? Boom. Dub. There's a win for you. Love that. All right, y'all. I think that might do it for us this afternoon. Uh, Garrett, that will get shipped out today, so you should get it by Tuesday? I hope so, yeah. I, would, I mean, it's you know three to five business days. Yeah. So it'll get there as soon as possible. We will get it shipped out today. Absolutely. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining Dave and I. Make sure you join us tonight at 8 o'clock with Donnie and Chris. Yeah. Uh, Matt Bohannon is out of the office this weekend. But he'll be back. He will be back on Sunday. Uh, but, yeah, hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Again, happy Friday. Um, hope uh, work, school, relaxation, whatever you may be doing with your day goes well. Hope you can have a nice Friday night into your Saturday. Make sure you join us this weekend as well. You're going to have... Uh, Joe, and many of you may not have ever met him, but we have John, John, who is uh, a uh, going to Notre Dame. He's going to be a Notre Dame freshman next year. Nice. He uh, has done the backroom a, uh, a, a long. He did the backroom a lot a couple months ago, but he was finishing up school, all that fun stuff. So he'll be back in the room with Joe tomorrow, yep. and then you're going to get Matt and Donnie on Sunday. Your boys got the weekend off. I'll be back on Monday at eight o'clock with Matt. And you'll be back with Dave on Donnie on Monday. Yes, sir. And you'll hear this spiel the whole entire weekend. But Business make sure as you join usual. Us. Make sure you join us tonight and the weekend. Nick, and, I'll uh, catch you on the course. Mario Golf Course, that is. Blair, thank you so much for stopping in the room. Glad you had a fun time. Glad we could get you a piece today. Absolutely. Always love the love in the chat, guys. Great to see you. Great to spend our Friday with you. All righty, y'all. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you when we see you. Peace out. We'll catch you later.